Hello everyone, in this video we will be deploying a Node.js server-side application to the cloud using the Google Cloud Platform. And I've built this application and now I'm ready to ship it to the cloud. But first of all, let's just explore what this is. So this is a very simple application where it, we have one endpoint and it's a health check. So that's how we're going to check that the application has been deployed. Now, nothing too special, but one prerequisite from this video is that your API or your project should not have any long-lasting connection like WebSockets because we're going to deploy it to the cloud run. We should also make sure that we have a Docker file in our project because at the end of the day, cloud run requires one to start up a process. And also make sure that no data or state is associated with your image because cloud run is going to make our image ephemeral so it's going to be up and down whenever the traffic requires so it can scale to zero or scale to 100 or more as it requires now for the cloud build yaml it's very simple we're going to do these steps one time and then we're going to have this file do the steps automatically and there we're going to have a cloud uh, ci cd so the first step is that we're going to build our image and then we're going to push it to the artifact registry. So here you could use any artifact registry you want. You can use Docker Hub. For me, I'm going to keep everything inside Google Cloud for simplicity. And then the last step is the actual deployment where we use the run deploy our application and all of the rest. This we're also going to make sure that we build first on the UI so that you know how to do it if you don't want to step do this step okay so let's just make sure that our application works it's up and running here on the left terminal and yes it is we have an okay from the health check so the next step is actually build the application i'm going to use docker builds and pass this flag because i'm using an arm chip okay so it's built and the next thing we need to do is tag it docker tag and this is it. So the structure here I'm following is this one. You can follow this here or follow the documentation set I've linked below from Google. So the first argument is the region, then your project ID, then this is the service name of your choosing for the artifact, and this is the project name of the Docker image. So now we do a Docker push with that same tag, and it's gonna fail. This is because the repository does not exist for me. So what you're going to do is go back to the Google Cloud Platform and let's search for Artifact Registry. And let's create and make sure that the registry exists in the first place. So let's create repository. Let's have the same name for it. So it's going to be my Node.js application. It's going to be a format Docker. The region is going to be Belgium for me. And then let's hit create. All right, so we have the repository here. Let's now try to hit the command again. And it should work now. So mine has finished uploading. Let's check it out. I'm going to refresh the page. All right, so mine has finished uploading successfully. And let's then continue with the final step, which is set up the Quadrant deployment. So let's hit create service. And here we have two options, which at the end of the day will lead to the same output. The first one is the manual step where we choose the Docker image that we just created. And the second one is setting up everything from the start with the CI CD, which you could do this by setting up the GitHub with. We're going to do this step finally, because in case you don't want to set up one, you can do this manual step only. So let's hit select. Let's select our repository and our image tag here, latest. Let's then select the region. For me, it's going to be the Europe one. And here, it's very important, the auto scaling. One of the main features of Cloud Run is that it can downscale to zero in case it doesn't have traffic, which then we can save costs by not having the server running. So if you have a small project, it's fine. If you have a big project, it's also fine because it can scale 
to a lot of instances as well. And you can also have cold starts, which might be a problem if you have a very high traffic application. So for that, just set up some numbers here. For me, it's fine. It's a small service. 0 to 10 is fine. Then let's allow an authenticate and divulgations. And finally, if you have environment variables, you can set them up down here. So click here. You can set up something like API rail or something like that. And they will be injected into the Docker image container. Then one last thing here, you can set the port of your server. It's basically an environment variable saying the part. So the same thing. So let's hit create. Now this is the revision. So our latest and only revision is this one. It's deploying. And after that, we're going to have a new URL to test it. So there we go. It's deployed. Let's go to the logs to see if it's running. And there we go. So we have uh, the application running on port 8080. Let's copy our URL and actually test it. So I'm going to curl it to the slash v1 slash health, which is our endpoints. And there we go. It's working. So it's deployed. If you wanted, you could stop right here. But if you're interested in setting up a CI CD from scratch, continue watching. So Ideally, in theory, if you wanted to make any change to our application, for example, here I made some changes. I set up the, I changed the message to up and running instead of OK. And if we wanted to do another deployment, we can do this manually, which would happen that we would do the steps again. So we could do the Docker builds and then the push. And then here we would edit and uh, set up a new revision. And the only thing you would need to do is select here and set up the new tag of the image. In this case, if it were the la latest, you don't need to do anything. Just hit create and it would deploy with the new latest image. If not, just select another one. Now, to set up a continuous deployment, you just set up on this button here and you're going to link this to your repository. So I've chosen my repository and I'm going to hit next. Now the build configuration is where is the main branch and where should the Google watch for changes before triggering any deployments. For me, it's going to be the main branch and the build type is going to be a Docker file. Let's save. And there we go. So call trigger is being set up. Let's go there and touch on the builds. So here on the build, this is our one. Let's check it out. So it, there we go. We have our three steps, which is the build, the push, and the deploy that are on our cloud build. So there we go. Let's then just wait for this deployment to be complete. And then let's check out the new version. So what we should check is that's the curl. When we do the curl for the new health endpoints, it should return a different message. All right, so it has completed. Let's check it out on the run. And we should have a new revision deployed. Let's go to revisions. And we have a new one. And let's actually just test it. So let's go. And there we go. We have the new message up and running. Awesome. So guys. This is it. If you want to deploy your Node.js or any type of application, it can be Go, Java, whatever, you can deploy it to the Cloud Run. And this is how we can set up a CI CD as well. So, hope you liked it and see you on the next one.